Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, please ask a like and subscribe. Uh, about six months ago, I think, yeah, I did a video about the master cylinder on a Mark VI Golf and uh, had one person message me saying I didn't show how to remove it from the pedal itself. So luckily I got another one here I'm doing at the moment. And uh, the reason I didn't add the video last time is because I thought, well, I knew that there was uh, quite a few other videos on YouTube of people doing it. But I've uh, had a look at a couple of them, and most of them talk about undoing this screw to take the whole lot out. Uh, but I'm going to try and show you a bit of an easier way to do it. So uh, hopefully it helps you out. So yeah, apologies for how uh, messy the table is. But uh, the other videos I saw, they talked about clamping this in the vise, taking this out, and then uh, taking this clip out here. But what you can do is with it all clamped in, let me just get to this side of the camera, so... See now in there we've got them tabs pushed in and here on either side, one there and one here. So I'm sure you can see me now. So I'm going to push that down and forward and you can see it's dropped down a little bit. And I'll do the same on this side. And then that's free to come out. So I'll push it as much as I can with the screwdriver and hopefully you can see there then it's starting to come. So there's this little boss here on the rod itself and you can just push that out. Uh, what I would suggest is you leave these in, it'll make your life easier but if they do come out it's not the end of the world to put them back in. Uh, to get the master cylinder itself out then, it's literally just a quarter of a turn, anti-clockwise, and it will pull out like that. So fitting the new one, quarter turn, that's locked back in. Your only job now is to get this uh, push rod back in. So these two white pieces here, I don't know if you can see but they look like uh, teeth to mesh together and then inside there's this recess for a ball and that's the ball at the end of the master cylinder rod so we'll make sure this is uh, lined up properly on the right teeth and then what we're going to do is just uh, slide them in loosely very loosely and then we want to get this ball smooth and I'll just turn this round so it's facing me a bit more. And that's not in properly so I'll have to push this out a little bit more again. And it needs to be out a fair way so that it can open up to be able to get the ball itself located in properly. Use these pliers to pull out on this a little bit. And there you can see then the uh, I don't know if you can see the lighting isn't great but that ball you want to make sure it's located properly right at the bottom uh, these two white bits at the end should be parallel and of the same length if not then your teeth are not marked up uh, matched up properly and then you can see here these tabs need pushing back a bit more so what I do is usually close that up and that's going to push it uh, a fair bit of the way you need and then we've just got a little bit more again the light in here is not great but uh, take that and you hear that click in on that side it's clicked in on this side as well being dragged back so uh, yeah that's it reason I've not used the uh, new master cylinders I'm still waiting on it hopefully get that tomorrow but it's such an easy job, quick job to show you, T take in, take out. No need to touch this bolt or anything. Uh, so yeah, 
hopefully that helps you out. And again, apologies for how messy this bench is. I have about 100 other jobs on the go at the moment, so once we get them finished, I'll uh, tidy it up. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe.